Good morning. I am Dr. E. Sinivasa, working as an assistant professor of physics in IDSG Government College, Chikmagalur. In this video, I am going to solve some problems on natural radioactivity, which is a chapter for third BSc physics students studying in 6th sem for paper 8. Name of the paper is Nuclear and Particle Physics, subject code SSF 611. And this is the session number 7 video. Before going to solve some problems, we have to know some formulae in natural radioactivity chapter. So, the first one is expression for number of nuclei remaining at any instant in a radioactive sample is given by n is equal to n0 to the power of minus lambda t. And the activity A is equal to rate of radioactive disintegration that is dn by dt is equal to minus lambda n. Here lambda is the decay constant and n is the number of atoms remaining and n0 is the initial number of atoms at t is equal to 0 and uh, lambda is the decay constant. And also we know that the expression for half life is T of is equal to 0 0.693 over lambda and the expression for mean life is tau is equal to 1 by lambda. The relation between half life and mean life is half life is equal to 0 0.693 mean life and the age of the plants, dead plants and animals or age of wood can be calculated T is equal to 2 0.303 log base 10 a naught by 80 or lambda and the age of the earth can be calculated using this formula and the expression for secular equilibrium the condition for secular equilibrium is n1 lambda 1 is equal to n2 lambda 2 and the condition for transient equilibrium is n2 by n1 is equal to lambda 1 over lambda 2 minus lambda 1. So we will uh, solve the problems one by one. The first problem is the off life of a radon gas is 3.8 days. How much will remain after 8 days? This is the problem came in Coimperosity in May June 2017. So radon is a radioactive inert gas. Given its of life that is 3.8 days. We have to calculate how much will remain after 8 days. So we know that the expression for of life is T of is equal to 0 0.693 or lambda. Therefore, lambda that is decay constant is equal to 0 0.693 or of life. So substitute for of life and simplify we get the value of decay constant that is 0 0.1824 per day. And also we know that number of atoms remaining in the sample n is after a time t n is equal to n0 to the power of minus lambda t or n by n0 is equal to e to the power of minus lambda t that is equal to e to the power of minus substitute for lambda 0 0.1824 into t so time is 8 days and after simplification we get n by n0 is equal to 0 0.232 or n is equal to 0 0.232 n0 that means the number of atoms remaining in the radon after 8 days is equal to 0 0.232 times the initial number of atoms. The problem number two is calculate the time required for 10% of a sample to sample of thorium to disintegrate given half life for thorium is 1.4 into 10 power 10 years. This is also Coimbra University question paper problem. So they have given half life of the thorium. We have to calculate the time required for 10% of a sample of thorium to disintegrate. If the 10% of this 
sample of thorium disintegrate then the number of sample remaining is given by n by n naught is equal to 0.9 that is 90 percent 90 percent means 90 by 100 that is equal to 0.9 10 percent means 10 by 100 that is 0.1 percent so the remaining is n by n naught is equal to 0 0.9 or n naught by n is equal to 1 by 0 0.9 so we know that the expression for time of the sample to disintegrate t is equal i mean remaining 2.303 log 10 n naught by n over lambda so substitute the value of n naught by n that is 1 by 0 0.9 and also we know that decay constant lambda is equal to 0 0.693 over half life so 0 0.693 over half life period is 1.4 into 10 power 10 and after simplification we we'll get the value 2.1827 into 10 power 9 years so 10 percent of the sample to thorium disintegrate the time required for 10 percent of a sample to thorium disintegrate is 2.1827 into 10 power 9 years third problem a carbon specimen found in excavation contain 1 by 8, 1 by 8 as much carbon 14 as an equal amount of carbon in living matter calculate the approximate age of the specimen given half life of carbon 14 is equal to 5568 years so they have given n by n naught ratio a carbon specimen found in excavation contain 1 by 8 as much carbon 14 as an equal amount of carbon in living matter so carbon in living matter is n naught n is the carbon specimen remaining in this sample so therefore n by n naught is equal to 1 by 8 also they have given half life period of the carbon 14 so n by n naught is equal to 1 by 8 so we know that the expression for age of the wood or specimen t is equal to 2.303 log base 10 n naught by n over lambda substitute for n naught by n so here n by n naught is equal to 1 by 8 so n naught by n is 8 by 1 so 2.303 log n naught by n is 8 and lambda is 0 0.693 or off life period so 0 0.693 or off life period is 5, 5568 years after simplification the age of the specimen is found to be 16,798 years the problem number 4 is the activity of certain radionuclide decreases to 15% of its original value in 10 days find its of life the activity of certain radionuclide decreases to 15% of its original value in 10 days find its of life given time 10 days and n by n naught that is 15 percent is remaining the activity of certain nucleates decreases to 15 percent means the remaining n by n naught is 0 0.15 15 percent means 15 by 100 gives 0 0.15 so n naught by n is 1 by 0 0.15 so we know that the expression for time t is equal to 2.303 log n naught by n over lambda we have to calculate from this equation the decay constant so lambda is equal to convert this here t here lambda so lambda is equal to 2.303 log 10 n naught by n over t so lambda is equal to 2.303 log 10 so n naught by n is 
1 by 0.15 over time is 10 days after simplification we get the value of dk constant lambda is equal to 0.1897 per day by knowing the value of lambda we can find the half life using the expression half life tf is equal to 0.693 over lambda so 0.693 over lambda substitute the value of lambda and simplify get the half life is equal to 3.65 days. Problem number 5. Giger Muller counter shows a count rate of 5750 counts per minute at some instant. After 5 minutes, it shows a count rate of 2700 counts per minute. Find the half life of the substance giving the counts. So, Giger Muller counter shows a count rate of 5750 years counts per minute at some instant. So, take this as an initial activity. After 5 minutes, it shows a count rate of 5700 counts. So, that is 80 per minute. So, time is given t is equal to 5 minutes. We have to calculate of life. First, you have to calculate time and then sir, uh, using this formula, we have to calculate the lambda value. By knowing the lambda, I mean dk constant, we can easily calculate the half life. So, we know that the expression for time or age of the specimen 2.303 log 10 a naught by 80 over lambda. So, lambda is equal to 2.303 log base 10 a naught by 80 by t. Substitute all the values. Lambda is equal to 2.303 log of so a naught initial value is 5750 and after 5 minutes so 80 is 2700 and time is 5 minutes. So after simplification we get lambda is equal to 0 0.15121 per minute. We know that expression for half life is T of is equal to 0 0.693 over lambda. Substitute the value of lambda. After simplification, we get the half life period of that sample is 4.5835 minutes. So, I have used all these books as reference to solve these problems. Thank you for watching. Thank you.